All right. <clears throat> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. If you guys like what I do over here, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and all those other buttons to show support for the channel. Yo, we're breaking truckers today. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another uh, segment of breaking truckers. And this trucker that we're about to break today, his name is Nail Guru. Guvanu, Guvanu, Nail Guvanu from TikTok. This TikTok brand new, fresh out of the box rookie trucker is having problems with his company. Now, I guess what I got out of this, he's in my home state, the great state of Ohio, and he's stuck. He's stuck. Uh, I'm, by the conversation that I got from him, uh, he said that, you know, his company is is not going to get him to Virginia for his home time. In order for him to do that, because they mentioned that he's like an owner op or something like that, but he's a new truck driver. Mm, maybe, maybe he's a lease op or something like that. Don't know. Don't know. But they said that in order for him, because they don't have nothing coming out of Ohio, but in order for him to get back to Virginia, he had to deadhead and pay for the fuel. <laughs> and he was like, he figured out the fuel to be somewhere in a ballpark of $1,400. So that means if you want to get back home, to Virginia from Ohio, you're going to have to pay for that fuel, bro. But, hey, what I want you guys to check out, because what what, what caught me, and I guess my intention span is low, is this guy's nails. Y'all, check out this man's nails. I mean, it's, it's wild, right? I mean, that's a wild factor there, right? Whoo! But anyway... Let's get into this segment of Breaking Truckers and see what he has to say about the company. Hold on. So let me go ahead and tell you how shitty my company is. By the way, hey friend, let's talk. Since I'm new to the industry, I'm trying to stick this thing out so I can like give me some experience pretty much. But this is uncalled for. They sent me out to Ohio to pick up a load Thursday night. The man told me, just see if you could pick it up early because I noticed on the little manifest thing, they said it couldn't be picked up to the 15th, today. I got here Thursday, I got to the uh, warehouse. Um, they told me, again, it can't be picked up until, uh, sorry, I'm getting loaded. So truck shaking and shit, oh fuck. But they didn't load me, so I had to park for the weekend out in Ohio. I asked them, could they give me another load? They told me it won't nothing else coming out of Ohio. They told them the load and the shipments that's coming out of Ohio is really shitty. It must just be for my company because I see plenty of tractor trailers right here in Ohio, and they are moving, buddy. All these warehouses, these warehouses are moving, so they must just don't want to deal with my company. So in the process of me getting back in my truck, my tablet breaks, okay? I can't see anything on my tablet screen. So I hit up the um, manager on duty or whatever the case may be, the dispatcher, whoever he is, and let him know. He pretty much told me, okay, you're going to have to switch the paper logs. Cool. Know how to do that. So then I asked him, you know, I'm really supposed to have home time this weekend. Um, I, you know, requested my home time a little minute ago, and it was approved by my manager. And it's Thursday, and you were supposed to be giving me a load to come back to Virginia. Oh, well, your only option, this is the only thing that we got coming out of Ohio. So your only options are to dead head back to your terminal. Uh, you will have to pay for the cost of fuel. Um, I'm a few hundred miles away. So the cost of fuel added up to about $1,412 to be exact. And I was like, excuse me? Not y'all want me to pay y'all something that y'all not paying me? Once my good group behind Google what the hell dead head meant, I called him back. I said, oh no, I'm not paying you because you can't find me a load. What the hell? I work for the company. The company don't work for me. Help me understand. 
God told me, well, bro, your only options is to stop calling because you're going to keep getting me, one. Two, your only options, again, is to drive dead head to Virginia, pay us the money for fuel, and quit, or wait your ass in Ohio until that load get picked up on Monday and drive back to Virginia Monday. The one thing I can say, I'm sick of their asses. Hey, friend. Let me tell you how shitty my company is. Part two. So after I have to wait in Ohio for the whole entire weekend, there is Monday, y'all seen that last video, I was getting loaded. So I made it back to Virginia. Yes, I did not quit the company. I did not abandon the vehicle. Why? Let me tell you. I found out that if you abandon their commercial vehicle, then it would be really hard for me to get another job with another company. Just imagine if I left your $100,000 plus equipment on the side of the road. The question is, would you hire me? So boom, I drive back to Virginia. Um, and the first thing I do is go straight to my DM. I'm like, look, we need to talk. So the first thing I did was tell him, look, I quit. I ain't doing this with y'all no more. I just quit. So after speaking to my manager, I was offered a, um, what is it called? A dedicated route with a private company. After all that said and done and all the, all the bullshit I'm dealing with with this goddamn company, I just hope that this dedicated run just have me actually running and me making real money because nobody has time for the bullshit. I ain't stopped doing nails to become a truck driver to make less money than what I was making when I was doing nails. Like, help me make that make sense. This two-part video, courtesy of TikTok, Nail Guru. Guru. Gu Look, I can't pronounce your name, bruh. I'm sorry. But, yeah, this is the brother who we're breaking today. So he had definitely had some issues with his trucking company. <laughs> wow. So I'm believing that this is a new trucker. So, guys, go over there and check him out on TikTok. He has some pretty interesting videos. I guess he come from a, like, a nail tech background. But yeah, I mean, of course, I the, my my attention span was was pretty much on his nails because I never seen a guy with nails like that. I really didn't. I'm you know my fault. But yeah, definitely go over here and give this guy a check out. And yo, who do you guys want me to break next? You know what I'm saying? I break truckers from YouTube, truckers from TikTok. Man, if they got some interesting content, I think I will throw them out there to you and, 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 and introduce them to you guys. Yo, Nail Guru, man, let's talk, bruh. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Open invitation for you to come and be a guest on the Lockout Men podcast show is extended to you. Who should we break next? I don't know. Let me know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out. Somebody going to get broke on this channel. Breaking Truckers, the new set on the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Stay tuned for the next Lockout Man podcast coming soon. There's something in the air tonight. Got a feeling coming over me. I swear that this is that place to be in the water. In the, the water.